The avant-garde is a term that we use to describe new, radical, uh, innovative ideas in uh, any uh, medium. So, for example, we'll talk about radical art or avant-garde art, where artists challenge the way in which art is made, received and explored and engaged with. Um, and in the 20th and 21st centuries, there are many famous uh, avant-garde movements, such as Dadaism or Surrealism, uh, where we get the word surreal from. In Italy, there's uh, Futurism, which begins with Marinetti in 1909, who is the primary uh, futurist but also the primary funder of the movement. And it begins in, uh, with a declaration on the front cover of Le Figaro newspaper, where the futurists reveal themselves to the world um, with their first manifesto. And as well as an introductory role in conversation of how they came to write the manifesto and the kinds of activities they partook in, um, there's the tenets of Futurism. And there's all kinds of very hyperbolic language to do with the love of war and energy and technology and speed and dynamism and some less positive sounding uh, sound bites such as uh, violence and a certain street streak of misogyny there. Now, after this first initial manifesto, there are other um, projects which they embark upon, one of which is called um, uh, Parole in Libertà or words in freedom. In other words, freeing words from the syntactical change which bind them to the page. And if you see representations of Paro en Libertà, um, you'll see words all over the page in different orders, perhaps written phonetically. In other words, they are free to be on the page uh, without the constraints of grammar or where they should fit. And essentially, it's a very visual way also of seeing words on a page. Other projects they did, other things they, um, they did were um, serate futuriste, or futurist evenings, where um, the futurists would, uh, in front of an often packed audience, um, uh, disrupt received notions of, um, of theatre. So rather than classical and traditional models of how theatre should, uh, should carry on, um, they did nonsense, they did fragments, they spoke to the audience directly, they, um, they read their manifestos, they did all kinds of things which would antagonise the audience to the point where audiences would throw fruit at them and vegetables, the police were called, and this was the sort of thing which delighted the futurists because it showed that they were provoking a reaction in their audiences, they were being avant-garde, they were being confrontational, and they were disrupting how people perceive their art should be um, deployed and carried out and created. So, as a whole, um, futurism, together with its positive aspects, such as the idea that it creates a new space for art to uh, exist in, the idea that it breaks new ground for artistic endeavour, and combined with the, the more negative aspects, the misogyny, the violence, the pro-war um, speech, um, means that in the whole, Italian futurism um, leaves behind a legacy which we're still looking at today.